Get ready for your daily dose of WordPress and web development tips, tricks, and insights to help you find success with WordPress. You're listening to WP The Podcast with your hosts, David Blackman and Tim Streifler. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of WP The Podcast brought to you by WP Gears. I'm David Blackman. And I'm Tim Streifler. Today, we're going to talk about the five best productivity apps for 2019. Now, let me start this off by saying that Elegant Themes has a blog post that they recently released that has 25 of the best productivity apps. There are a ton of productivity apps, and we probably could have had an episode 25 minutes long talking about how many awesome productivity apps there are but we decided you know what we're wp the podcast we only have a few minutes so we're just going to give you our top five that tim and i use on a regular basis tim yeah the first one here is slack again as david mentioned we're not going to dive off deep into each one of the these but slack is amazing messaging tool all kinds of integrations i use it that's how david and i communicate on a daily basis uh, highly recommend Slack. Amazing iPhone app as well. Um, Slack is the best uh, communication tool. Yeah. Yeah. Email killer. Number two on our list is Asana. Tim and I use Asana for project management. We use it in WP Gears. I use it in my company, uh, Aspen Grove Studios. Tim uses it in his company, Divi Life as well. So from a project management standpoint, you can't get anything better than a sauna out there. Yeah, the next one here is LastPass. LastPass is by far the best password management tool. And it's productivity for a couple of reasons. One, it allows you, it, it securely and conveniently stores all your passwords. And so whatever device you're on, you have the LastPass integration. And so it'll remember your passwords for you. So that keeps you productive. But additionally, if you're on a team and you're collaborating, you want to be able to securely share passwords with team members without sending them over email or anything like that. So LastPass allows you to do that. Super powerful. Next on our list is G Suite. All of the products, we could have broken down this into 10 different products that are included in G Suite, like spreadsheets, documents. Um, what's the one we use for courses, Tim, with the slides? Um, um, presentation. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. like presentation, like the equivalent of Microsoft's. Uh, that, that's the one that's actually slipping my brain, but it's presentations, uh, yeah, Google PowerPoint. drive. Yeah. PowerPoint. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, you know, Google drive, which allows you to store files and images and whatever it is that you want documents as well. So G suite top of the line, it's probably the, the productivity app that we use the most in our company. Yeah. And then last on our list, but obviously not the last overall, just of the five that we decided to focus on today. And that's Evernote. Evernote is, as it says in the name, a amazing note taking app. And what I love about it is it has an amazing desktop app, has amazing mobile apps. And so you, your notes are all saved in the cloud. You can organize them into folders. I use it for kind of brainstorming topics, planning out products and features and stuff. Um, I, I, I will write blog posts in it before I move it over to WordPress. So Evernote is awesome. It's a great way to stay organized and keep all your, your thoughts and notes together. They have other additional tools as well where you can mark it up and use um, uh was annotations and yeah. uh, pull in images and do all sorts of really cool things. Um, take photos and directly drop them in there. It's great. Awesome. Well, that's our top five best productivity apps for 2019. Head on over to our website, wpgears.com, episode 492, and leave in the comments your favorite productivity apps. We'd love to hear what you guys are using because guess what you may be using something awesome that you absolutely love that i've never heard of and we may want to use it as well tomorrow we've got another great episode the best way to deal with unhappy clients tim until tomorrow we'll see you then take care bye-bye we've come to the end of today's episode of wp the podcast 
Join us tomorrow for more daily tips and strategies designed to help you run your WordPress business towards success. Remember to subscribe to WP The Podcast so you can stay up to date with each episode. And don't forget to rate and review us. We'll see you again tomorrow right here on WP The Podcast.